Welcome to Recap King. In this video, we will explain the prison. This movie tells the story of a police inspector who disguises himself as a convict to avenge his brother's death. When life in prison gets too hard, will he be able to find his brother's killer and avenge his long-held revenge? Let's find out in the prison. The prison begins by showing a man who has an important position in government who is relaxing at his house at night. Not long after, the man was suddenly approached by a group of masked men who instantly killed him. They were ordered to kill the man by disguising his death as an accident caused by a drug overdose. After finishing their work, they immediately erased the traces and rushed away. Although assigned to kill someone's life, these people are not professional assassins, but prisoners who are still active prisoners. They were given special permission to leave prison for a certain time to perform the assigned tasks, and were ordered to return immediately after they had finished their work. One day, a man named Song Yugon was sentenced to several years in prison for being involved in a hit-and-run incident that killed the victim. Yugon is then taken to a maximum security prison to serve his term. Arriving at the prison, the very temperamental Yugon immediately gets into trouble by starting fights and challenging the other prisoners. Because of this attitude, Yugon becomes the target of bullying from other inmates, including the prisoner who is in the same cell with him, a man named Chong Gil, who doesn't hesitate to pee in Yugon's face. However, Yugon doesn't give up at all and continues to cause trouble, until in the end, a group of other inmates bring him before the most respected prisoner and feared in prison, a man named Jong Ig Ho. Ig Ho is the head of the most dangerous gangster in prison and is the mastermind behind the official's assassination who disguised the death as an accident, as well as being the mastermind in several other crimes committed outside the prison. Ig Ho then orders his men to torture Yugon to provide a deterrent effect so that he will no longer be a troublemaker. Known as a sadistic and very dangerous man, Igho did not hesitate to torture Yugon quite brutally, until finally a frightened Yugon chose to obey and promise not to make any more trouble in prison. After that, Igho orders a guard to put Yugon in solitary confinement and then transfers him to another detention cell. Igho was able to do this because he had an agreement with the warden to control the guards and conduct his illegal business from inside the prison, where he was able to make a sizable profit and share it with the prison warden as part of the deal. Because of that, no one dared to cause trouble with Igho, either the guards or other prisoners, because Igho had full power like a king who was highly respected and feared. Not only that, but Igho is also known to often provide assistance to the guards and other prisoners so that they are all very obedient and afraid of him because Igho is also known for his brutality. The warden then warns Yugon as a new prisoner not to cause trouble with Igho because he will not hesitate to kill Yugon in prison and disguise his death as an act of suicide. One day, Yugon reunites with Chong Gil in the field, where they then get into a feud and are about to start a fight. However, the two then stopped their feud when they saw Ig Ho entering the field with his henchmen. Knowing that Yugon and Chong Gil are about to fight, Ig Ho challenges them to a duel and solves their problems. Yugon accepts the challenge, but he puts forward a condition, namely that if he wins against Chong Gil, then he wants to ask for a reward in the form of fried chicken for all the inmates in prison. Ig Ho accepts the terms. Yugon and Chong Gil started their fight fiercely. Yugon turns out to have a temperamental nature and has a strong will and solid physical endurance, so he can beat Chong Gil and win the duel. The scene then switches and shows the warden, a man named Kong, who appears to be having lunch with a man named Kim, who is none other than Ig Ho's henchman who runs his entire illegal business outside the prison. After their meeting, Kong returns to the prison and calls Ig Ho to his room, where he then hands over an envelope that Kim gave him. The thick envelope contained information about the new work that Ig Ho and his men had to complete. Kong actually always feels worried every time he lets Ig Ho and his men out of prison to do the job because he is risking his good name and position. But since he also gets some of the money from the deal, he has no choice but to let Ig Ho and his henchmen do the work. Kong then warns Ig Ho to always be vigilant and careful so that their actions outside the prison are not caught. After that, Ig Ho and his henchmen begin to study the information provided by Kim and devise a plan. This time, Ig Ho and his henchmen are tasked with stealing valuables from the safe and then handing them over to the person who gave the job to Kim. Long story short, Ig Ho and his henchmen manage to finish the job and rush out of the scene. However, on the way back to prison, one of Ig Ho's men decides to get out of the car and run away because he can't stand being in the circle of the most dangerous gangsters in prison. The incident then made Kong very angry because if the convict's escape was discovered by the police, his good name would be tarnished and it is not impossible that he would be fired from his job. Kong then receives a call from head correctional officer Bei, his superior, who will be visiting the prison as part of a routine assessment. 
The next day, Bei finally arrives at the prison, and Kong is ready to welcome him in full uniform. Bei walks all around the prison accompanied by Kong, who still looks worried because of the illegal activities carried out by Ig Ho and his henchmen and the incident of an inmate who was desperate to escape. But as it turns out, Bei has known Ig Ho before and doesn't seem to like his presence in prison. Bei then tries to confront Ig Ho and intentionally angers him until finally, Ig Ho starts to lose his temper and tries to fight back. However, at the same time, Yugon appears and makes a scene by insulting the prison guard so that the heated feud that occurred between Bei and Ig Ho immediately subsides, where Yugon acts recklessly as if he wants to defend Ig Ho in front of Bei. Because of his courage, Yugon is asked to come to Ig Ho who invites him to have dinner outside the prison. Of course, this opportunity is not wasted by Yugon who can finally breathe the air of freedom, even if only for a moment. Ig Ho already knows the background of Yugon, a former police detective involved in a hit-and-run case, so he had to languish in prison and was fired from the police. However, what makes Ig Ho interested in Yugon is that he is a police detective who is quite good at doing his job, where he can solve various complicated cases and is nicknamed the Emissary of Hell, because anyone who has been targeted by Yugon, then that person would definitely be caught by him. Therefore, Ig Ho asks Yugon to join his group, where he offers him some privileges that he wouldn't get if he were just an ordinary prisoner. Without thinking, Yugon immediately accepted the offer. The first job Yugon has to do is find the convict who recklessly escaped while running errands with Ig Ho. By utilizing his abilities as a reliable police detective and enlisting the help of several criminal informants he knows, Yugon can find the inmate in no time. After bringing the inmate back to prison, Yugon sees how Ig Ho ruthlessly forced his henchman to end his own life by hanging himself as punishment for his betrayal. After that, Yugon officially joins Ig Ho's group and soon becomes Ig Ho's right-hand man, which triggers the jealousy of the other henchmen who have joined earlier, including a man named Hong Pyo. Hong Pyo gets even more irritated when Ig Ho becomes more protective of Yugon during an argument in their group and listens to Yugon's words more. Because of this, Hong Pyo secretly decides to work with Chong Gil to overthrow Ig Ho's power in prison and become the new ruler. On the other hand, Yugon turns out to have his own purpose in entering the prison, where he is seen looking for something in Kong's room and then takes a tape containing a recording of Kong's conversation with Kim while discussing their illegal business. Kong had suspected Yugon's presence in his room, but Yugon quibbles that he's doing some cleaning. Yugon's purpose in doing this was to take revenge on Ig Ho for the death of his brother, as well as reveal all the crimes committed by Ig Ho and his henchmen. The scene then switches to the past, where Yugon, who was still a police officer, was seen practicing shooting. Yugon is then visited by his brother, a journalist, who asks him for help investigating crimes committed by Ig Ho inside and outside the prison. However, Yugon is reluctant to help his brother and asks him to step down because he thinks that the investigation could endanger his life. However, his brother apparently insisted and decided to investigate it alone, until in the end Yugon found his brother was in a lifeless condition. Since then, Yugon has been determined to avenge the death of his brother on Ig Ho who is known to have ordered the murder of his brother. Turning to the present, Kim appears to visit Ig Ho in prison with several packs of heroin to hand over to one of the law enforcement officers. When Ig Ho and his henchmen are conducting drug trade deals in the prison kitchen, Chong Gil and his men suddenly arrive and disrupt the transaction according to the plan that Hong Pyo had conceived. However, Chong Gil's men seem reluctant to attack Ig Ho because they know about his brutality which is proven when Ig Ho does not hesitate to pour hot oil on one of Chong Gil's henchmen's face and then pry it out his eyes. Chong Gil immediately feels weak and frightened and then kneels before Ig Ho, begging for mercy. However, that turns out to be Chong Gil's ruse, as he then stabs Ig Ho and manages to knock the gangster leader down. When Chong Gil and his henchmen were about to kill Ig Ho, Yugon came to Ig Ho's rescue and beat them all. Ig Ho is very grateful to Yugon for saving his life, and after the incident, Chong Gil is immediately transferred to another prison. However, the warden then drops Chong Gil off in the middle of the road, and not long after, a car crashes into him and kills him, which Ig Ho had planned. Knowing that Chong Gil must have teamed up with one of his minions, Ig Ho summons all of his minions and interrogates them. Not wanting to end up like Chong Gil, Hong Pyo finally admits that he's the traitor and kneels down to beg Ig Ho for mercy. Ig Ho forgives him, but Hong Pyo has to lose an arm as punishment for his betrayal. Meanwhile, Kong is having a meeting with Bei, where Bei threatens to fire him from his post as chief warden because Bei begins to suspect his involvement in the illegal activities of Ig Ho and his henchmen. On the other hand, Yugon secretly pays a prison warden to keep his meeting with someone in the prison environment secret, where that person is none other than his superiors in the police force. Yugon then hands the tape to his superior, 
hoping that the police can use it as clues and evidence for the crimes committed by Igho and his henchmen, which also involve the warden of the prison. Feeling his reputation and position being threatened, Kong then warns Igho to stop their illegal activities for the time being. However, Igho instead suggests a solution to the problem, killing Bei, so that no one else threatens and hinders their illegal business. With all his men, including Yugon, Igho then leaves the prison to hunt down Bei and brutally kill him. Yugon who sees this looks impatient and intends to help Bei, but he decides to restrain himself so that his true purpose is not discovered by Igho. However, not long after that, Igho finds out a traitor in his group after finding a policeman, who is none other than Yugon's superior, spying on them while he and his group are doing work outside the prison. Igho then orders his men to arrest him, and when Yugon finds out that Igho has captured his superior and intends to kill him, he can no longer contain his emotion and indirectly reveals himself as the traitor. Not long after, Kong appears there and then points a gun at Igho and intends to end it all because he thinks Igho has gone too far. However, Igho easily snatches the gun from Kong's hand and kills him. To cover up his killing of the warden, Igho then devises a plan to scapegoat Yugon as the one who killed Kong, and after killing him he will kill Yugon and disguise his death as if it were by hanging himself. However, Yugon finally manages to save himself after one of the inmates sympathizes with him and helps him escape. Yugon then heads to the prison garden, where he burns all the plants there to attract the firefighters' attention and the police. Afterwards, he climbs to the top of the tower and challenges Igho to duel with him. The two engage in a fierce battle, and Yugon can finally beat Igho. However, when Yugon was about to kill Igho, the authorities stopped him. Yugon seems to have managed to temper his anger and discourage from killing Igho with his own hands, even though he had killed his brother. When Yugon had given up and dropped his gun, Igho then got up, took the gun and was about to kill Yugon. But the snipers who were already on the spot immediately noticed his actions, and since Igho persisted in wanting to kill Yugon, the snipers had no choice but to shoot him dead on orders. After that incident, Yugon still has to languish in prison for his involvement in the crimes committed by Igho and his henchmen. After Igho's death, Yugon has now assumed power in prison, where he now oversees Igho's men who ultimately support him as their new leader. And the film ends. The moral we can learn from this film is, never to abuse our position and power to oppress others and take unlawful actions. Apart from that, there are many ways to take revenge on the criminals who have snatched our precious but not by becoming a criminal either because it will indeed be met with opposition and disappoint those who love us.